Hi, I'm Josh with Jellyfish Lighting. This video covers creating a pattern program using the multi-paint mode. For written instructions, visit our operations manual on our website at jellyfishlighting.com manual. To select a different pattern mode, simply select the pattern mode selector and change to a different pattern mode. Currently, there are many different pattern modes on the Create Pattern page. With the multi-paint pattern, a certain definable number of lights is painted and repainted much like the paint pattern creator. The program, when all finished, will look something like this. In order for the paint mode to, to work properly, the zones do not need to be set up with the correct number of lights on each zone. For more information on zone setup, on the lower menu bar, press the settings button, then select zones on the upper tab. To create a program using the create pattern page, in paint mode, first make sure that at least one zone is toggled on and that at least one zone is selected. Make sure that the multi-paint mode is selected. Multi-paint mode starts the zone with a solid color, then it starts to paint the entire zone to a new color. For this reason, the minimum number of colors for this mode is two. Next, pick at least two colors. This number can be increased by modifying or modified by pressing the minus or plus buttons to the right of the words color. Select the color by selecting a primary color, selecting a custom color, or creating your own color. To create your own color, use the top color selection slider to determine the color, then use the bottom slider to determine the intensity. To assign this new color as a new custom color to be reused in the future, Press and hold your finger on any of the custom color squares, and the new color will be assigned to that custom color. The color can be modified on the color represented by a filled in circle, not by a filled in square. To change the selected color, press the other color. Then modify the color by selecting a primary color, a custom color, or by creating a new color. I'm going to set the first color to red, and the second color to white, using the primary color boxes. After your colors are set, let's go to the settings page to learn what other options are available. Select the upper settings button. Color transform. Use the color transform to change the way the paint is done. The options for the color transform are no color, transform, progression, and fade. The no color transform setting paints the lights in a uniform matter. See here. The progression color transform slowly modifies the paint color from one color to the next in this way. The fade color transform changes the brightness of the colors as the new light colors are painted. The direction setting has three options, left, center, and right. Left, when the direction setting is set to the left, the lights are painted from left to right. When the direction setting is set to center, the lights are painted from the center until all the lights are painted. When the direction setting is set to the right, the lights are painted from right to left. Let's now explore the effects. There are three effect settings, no effect, twinkle, and lightning. Let's change the effect setting from no effect to twinkle. Notice that a single light randomly twinkles at a given rate. To change the rate of the twinkle, adjust the slider just to the right of the effect selection. Now let's change the effect to lightning. Notice that now a random group of lights now flash. To change the rate of the lightning, adjust the slide just to the right of the effect selection. There are five other settings for adjustment. Speed, brightness, red, green, and blue levels. To either pause the painting or to speed up the painting, use the speed slider to change the desired speed. To adjust the brightness of the newly created program, adjust the brightness slider. To remove some of the red, green, or blue from the program, adjust the corresponding slider like this. Saving your new pattern. After the pattern has been created, it can be saved. It is important to know how to save a pattern because only saved patterns can be recalled by timer or calendar events, or just recalled spontaneously. To save this or any pattern, press the Save button on the upper left corner of the screen. There you will have the option to enter a pattern name. I'll type in red and white multi-paint. I can then select 
a pattern category so the pattern can be more easily found in the future. Or I can make a new category to save this pattern. I'm going to create a new category called Josh's Programs. Okay, now that I've created this new category, I notice that name Josh's Programs has now been added to the pattern category list and it has been selected. So now I'm going to save this pattern. That is how you create a multi-paint pattern. Thank you for watching and enjoy your lights.